Hey everybody, welcome and or welcome back to my channel. My name is Leah Catherine and this is Leah Sees Movies back with episode two of Hawkeye. Episode one was our introduction to Kate Bishop, getting her backstory, why she likes archery, kind of planting the seeds of some shady shenanigans with her soon to be stepfather, there's a lot of S's, and her mother and a dead old rich guy named Armand. And we obviously have her running into at the end of the episode Clint Byron, her hero, who is in town for the absolutely awful Rogers the Musical. I feel like this episode two is going to be our introduction into the show and the stakes and the villains and what is going to force Clint Barton to stay and actually like not just grab his shit and leave because that seems like that could be the end of the series if he was just like, give me my clothes back and then just dipped. Well, he'd also be admitting to being Ronan, I guess, if he did that. But there has to be something that makes him stay. So I'm curious to see what that is going to be, aside from, you know, the necessity of this TV show. Um, and with that, I'm going to stop talking. Let's get started. Do you live near here? Yeah, I don't have okay. to live home, just, yeah. Here, take this. Okay. Are you Do you have a change of clothes? Because I've mentioned that about 18 times last episode. Some, some people have actually called me the world's greatest archer. Yeah. Are you one of those people? Well, uh, one, of, one of them is, yes. Well, they're definitely leaning into the awkward thing. <laughs> the star of the show is back. You are, can you sign my bow? The contacts? For what reason? Tracksuit Mafia. That's their name? That's an awful name. That's a little on the nose, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Do you think they're the ones that killed my mom's fiance's uncle? Your mom's fiance's oh. uncle? Oh. Okay. So that actually makes a lot more sense, because I was... No. But what I need to know is if anybody saw your face. Because I was thinking, are the way Armand was talking about shifty mask, uh, mustachio fiancé man was very familiar. The tracksuits must have followed you from the auction. Did you stop anywhere before that? I just dropped off the dog. To your home, where you live. And my name's on the buzzer. Well, that's unfortunate for your home. <laughs> that's fine. They look like Sims. Okay, so we're going hard on Looney Tunes action, is what I'm seeing. Seriously, Tracksuit Mafia? Is this one of those things that, like, in a comic book seems cool and funky, but in real life looks extremely stupid. David, come back for it. I'm gonna assume it has some base level fire resistance, but do we want that to be found? I'm okay. Fire, but like a little shish kebab, you know? There was an attempt at humor. Mm. You can get collars at the grocery store. The one your safe house? Is it an Avengers Tower? No. Tony sold that a few years ago. That is so sad on so many levels. Okay, she has a collar on. Like, that's the part that was gonna really bother me. I'm like, if you're not gonna get the essentials and you have the opportunity. It's my aunt's place. She's in Florida for the winter. Right. But you're not very good at lock picking, so now you're just gonna be embarrassed. Oh, okay. Spoke too soon. She couldn't do the other one, but she's got base level lock picking skill. I'm going back to your apartment to get that suit. Then I'm going back to my kids. Phase four is really going to just be the, like, big, like, superhero stand phase. Because we already had uh, Peter Parker to an annoying degree who was just like, oh my god, Iron Man! And now we have her with Hawkeye. And then we're going to have Miss um, Marvel being a huge Captain Marvel fan. I, mean, I guess you can't avoid it. Like teen heroes in a world full of like teens in a world full of superheroes are going to be obsessive. Like, the shop. I, mean, they head down the I think it's all just about the execution of it, whether or not it's going to be deeply annoying or not. Her so far, I put it in the not as funny as they think it is category. Like I can tell there is an attempt at humor being made. It's just like not super funny. <laughs> Is it? 
one, that's actually funny. <laughs> but also, just because you're a LARPer does not mean you should be in someone's apartment and be like, whoa, that looks crazy, I'm steal it. Like, it survives someone else's house fire that does not make it yours. Using a frozen pizza for her head, that'll retain heat for like, not retain heat, retain cold, I guess, for like no, five seconds. Me. Reducing swelling, dying out pizza dogs breakfast. Mm -hmm. So how's my place? Crispy. And wet. It's really the worst of both worlds. I started to describe um, what I could remember of the tracksuit's faces. <laughs> this is really yes, white. <laughs> See, they can afford a real Google. So nothing bothers me more than the long and large and wide variety of fake Googles that they have on TV shows. How do you steal something and then put it on your TikTok the same day? Like, wait a couple, maybe 12, 24, 40, 72 hours post-crime before putting it on the internet? <laughs> what a cute, suddenly clean baby. What? Why is he in charge? He's an idiot. I may be an idiot, but I got seniority. When you guys land, your mom's gonna be waiting for you there, okay? How old is he supposed to be? Because I don't remember him being, like, late teens pre-dusting, but, like, actors get older. But if he's... It's a very large kid. I love you, Dad. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Got a cute little moment. New York socialite Armand Duquesne was found dead in his home last night. Witnesses saw a mysterious figure leaving the scene. That's... These two events have officials wondering if indeed the Ronin has returned to New York City, if he may be responsible for Armand Duquesne's death, and what he may do next. Okay, but if you think Ronin killed him, I'd have so many questions about what you think Armand did. Terrible ninjaing. The Tratsu guys trying to kill you twice yesterday. I'm going to find this suit, and until I do, you're gonna stay put. Yeah, I know. You're just not gonna listen to me, are you? Go get changed. You look silly. <laughs> I kind of want to meet the aunt. I like the way she lives. Outside, that's nice. No, no, it's just so I can hear you. What happened? <laughs> That's 1,000% how they should <laughs> do all reveals. Hey, look, that one's you. No, it's Katniss Everdeen. Hunger Games exist in the MCU. Vest, which you wear over a suit of armor and like 16 other layers of self-protection, all of which under, finally, is your heart. It's a lot of analysis for a man you met last night. Put your phone number in here for emergencies only. Katie. I'm sorry for your loss. I, um... On the news. So, if there were, so he does have money. His his inheritance question was basically saying like, when Armand dies, I'm gonna get your money, which now in hindsight seems like he was just saying, haha, I'm gonna kill you tonight so I can afford this sword, which is a little cheesy, but okay. The inheritance thing. How does that? Work? Hey, what are you wearing? Oh, this uh, it's um. Honestly, style. I support it. it can we talk? Without the interloper? She likely feels displaced by me, and she's testing our new dynamic. You also didn't tell me you were getting married, which is weird and gross. She wants to set firm boundaries. She feels threatened by me, and you know what? I can understand why. Excuse me? That's a lot of talk from a man with that mustache. Jack's cooking dinner tonight. Why don't you join us? Fine. On one condition. I come up with the conversation topics. So, inheritances, how does that work? What exactly was in your inheritance? What did Armand III's will look like? How much of it goes to Armand VII? Is he in immediate danger? I mean, they said he was his uncle, right? Not his father. So, like, it would stand to reason that his direct line will get far more of the inheritance than he would. Which is why you get rid of the direct line. There's no lucky lose. Uh, I'm not trying to cause any trouble here. I just want to talk to that guy, that ninja right there. Stole that suit. Well, you can take that up with him when the LARP is over. I'm sorry, I would 
punch you in the face. <laughs> It's like, hey, someone stole something from me. I'd like to talk to them. Um, excuse me, I'm LARPing here. But most of those folks out there are uh, firefighters and cops. Cool, I mean, you should be slightly more concerned about the stealing then. What are you gonna do? Arrest me for saying that guy stole something? I mean. Right. Beginners only get one free hit. If you get hit in the torso, it's fatal. Oh, so violent. Just wait, wait, uh, your armaments. Yeah, I won't get hit. Don't worry about it. Helmet. Oh, with the wig attached. Again, I feel like this show thinks it's being a lot funnier than it actually is. Also, this definitely feels like an episode of Supernatural. If you know, you know. And I think theirs was a little less whatever the hell this is. I honestly don't even know how to describe it. Cringe? That's probably accurate. This looks like that game on Wii, which is very fun, by the way. Great workout. But what is the plot of this LARP? Because it looks like it's just a battle royale situation. Look, I'm not trying to cause a scene here, all right? Out of respect. For whatever, yeah, whatever the hell, the hell this, is. this is. But I'm plumb. I'm a writer for this show. Just let me kill you. I'll give you the suit. You're a superhero in real life. So this you want to hit me with a foam sword? To be in one. It's so, so annoying. Just work with me. Let me kill you. And I fought Thanos. I mean, not personally. <laughs> you did some running, though. <laughs> Girl, what? That just feels like trying to get a guy you met on Tinder to call you back. Like, I don't know if that's the best way to get a reclusive superhero to call you back. Drink the ritualistic portion. It is a bottle. Why wouldn't you just get a real bottle? These are terrible LARPers. Where's the commitment? Winner takes the suit. Proceed. I'm trying to show it. You gotta make it real. You gotta believe it. Just kill me. Like, I don't understand why you would need to make a production out of it. Like, I'm allowing you to play your dumb swords and battles game. <laughs> Just, just, like, why do we have to gather in a circle? This is very stupid. Okay. Well, I hope that was satisfying for you. Guess it wasn't for him, and it wasn't really to watch. Vestland, thank you. I shall be regaling my countrymen with this tale for many years to come. Do you want to talk about how apparently your fireman who stole things from an active <laughs> crime scene? Just saying. I feel like we should talk about that. Hi, hon. You're not gonna make my flight. That's all right. That's what uh, flight insurance is for. <laughs> How's the problematic wardrobe? Yeah, mm. safe until I clear things up with the old tracksuit friends. Jesus, not those idiots. Yeah, those idiots. Well, I mean, I guess signs of a healthy marriage. He was honest about all the ninja murdering of people he did. Relationship goals. Just like I made it for Christmas. <laughs> well, then you have five days to keep that promise. Yeah. They've been apart for 12 hours. I feel like this, oh, I'm gonna miss Christmas. Like, bro, it's in six days, you have time. I feel like if we, we Need like three more days before we get to the like, oh no, I'm missing the holidays. Time to get myself caught. Missing one flight is like not that serious. <laughs> the secret to a good risotto is to agitate it just enough. And then it's just down to patience and attention. Why do you talk like that? If the mom actually factually is not involved in anything suspicious, she is just stupid. <laughs> At least be like, oh, we're gonna be like a crime power couple, not this clearly suspicious individual and you're just like, yeah, but his hair is so luscious. The champion, good with all the outdated weapons. I'd say it made me pretty aware of when someone is trying to stab you in the back. I think a common interest is very fertile ground for bonding. I don't like the way you said fertile. What do you say we break out a couple of these bad boys? Please, let's not. I'm convinced. Okay, all she said was why not. That's not a convincing argument. 
it is to do something fun. If I enjoy doing something, I don't need to be convinced. Like, is it a clear challenge? Yes, of course. But also, it's fun. Let's do it. Wow. You are good. Don't let me win, Jack. I wouldn't. Go again. He's luring you in. Oh, caught me again. Yeah, dude, he is not trying. Stop letting me win. Uh, I'm an open She'd be a terrible spy. Oh, Kate! I just stab you in the face. No, I knew he would parry. What I was trying to do was prove that he is lying, which I successfully did. I mean, lying about his fencing skill is not equivalent to, say, lying about murdering your uncle. Like, those are, <laughs> you can't be like, obviously, these are connected things. Strange that the same night his uncle threatens you, he ends up murdered by a sword. Wait, it was by sword? I completely missed that. I'm not a little kid anymore. And you're not a superhero either. Yeah, but I texted one and he hasn't answered back. Right, you'll graduate, and in the fall, you'll start working at Bishop Security for real, right? Like we've always planned. Like you've always planned. Kate, just put it's one It's not my dream, Mom. It's in yours. In years, you'll look up, and I promise you will be happy. Put one foot in front of the other. See? Now that's good Christmas references. For scaring you into telling the truth. Uh, it's not the first time somebody tried to take my head off. It's because he's a criminal. <laughs> What is coach? This man is so hysterically suspicious, I like really hope he's actually innocent. Just who walks like that, talks like that? Haha, <laughs> I'm used to people going for the head. Like, you're carrying around monogrammed butterscotches from your uncle that was murdered. Like, that's so over the top. I'm genuinely, genuinely hoping he is involved in nothing criminal and he's just weird. <laughs> What's up, bro? Hello, boys. You found me. Yes. Go! Guys, I can see through the bag. <laughs> Ivan, that was easy, man. I mean, yeah, he just stood there. I understand the point is to get purposefully caught, but how stupid do you need to be to be like, wow, he like literally called us, we walked over, he was just standing there, we hit him with the bat, took him in, 30 seconds or less. Clint. Uh, hi, it's me. Um, I, uh, I have a crazy clue to tell you about. Clues, plural. Try again. I'm sorry. Clint Barton can't take your call right now. Jeez. That is extremely creepy. Aww. We recognize this scene. Same chair and everything. I like how they're having to lean in so hard on nostalgia for Natasha <laughs> to make him more likable. It was getting very hard to find place. No? Old warehouses are being converted into lofts, so how can I get something better? No? You know, we haven't thought about what gentrification is doing to the gangs. I'm not the guy you're looking for. Kate Bishop. Not Kate Bishop. Kate Bishop is guy, bro. Kate Bishop is guy in costume. Kate Bishop would have been like 16. <laughs> now interrogating you, so look at us, okay? There is Kate Bishop. I'm sorry. If I was running a gang, I don't want all of my underlings to be that stupid. Like, that is actually a threat to my agency. <laughs> Impressive. Bro, I found her. <laughs> trying to build up an organization I need people I can trust I need people who can think anticipate danger and act accordingly and you have these morons I wouldn't even want to put my name on that organization like don't associate me with this thank you look what you did I was just trying to help okay uh oh you're in trouble now bro I'm gonna feel some vibrations for a little bit longer. Put my game face on. I hate to say it, but I feel like I'm still waiting for the show to start. Um, yeah, I, I feel like this one's gonna be a bit shorter just because like, I didn't have that much to say. And I really think I can grow to like Kate Bishop too, but she's very reactive. She doesn't think ahead very much. She's like aggro, which I can appreciate, but not in a logical way. <laughs> like she's very much 
emotional outburst over thought process and that can get very frustrating because like not every character is going to be like oh i'm a super genius i'm thinking in like four dimensions like no not that but wow i think my mother's husband might be involved in something nefarious let me just scream at him <laughs> like that's not the best way to gain information i mean in this case it worked out for her because he is the creepiest dude i've ever seen he acts suspicious on a hundred at all times so yeah it worked because he's just like look evidence butterscotch and she's like oh if i found a hint but she could have just genuinely tried to talk to him this would have actually been super easy to because it's like oh i'm so sorry about your uncle like i'm so sorry i ran away last night i just you know i was kind of overwhelmed because you guys didn't tell me about the engagement it's only been six months he's over here like oh i read a stepdad book i know how to handle this you fake bonds for a little bit i mean if you want to be a superhero so bad and it's clear that that's kind of what she wants she wants to feel official and validated you gotta gotta work work smarter not harder like <laughs> dropping through roofs 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 oh there's no good way to say that dropping through roofs with no game plan is is it's it's yeah it's no plan that's it's in the name it's like i like her but i don't like characters that don't think ahead i admit i'm i'm whatever um clint is not my favorite and never has been i think the most i liked him was like back in 2012 2014 back in like the prime uh, Clint Natasha shipping era was probably the most I ever liked him, which is funny because now they're really leaning into that to be like, remember, here's memories of the time you liked him in association with this other character that we killed. Um, and on his own, which obviously we got more of him on his own this episode, I just really couldn't get that invested in it. I think the LARPing scene was a very extended gag that didn't really make sense how it played out. It just feels like it was skipping things to get to the joke that wasn't that funny. Like, oh, haha, ha, Clint is gonna go LARPing to get his suit back. And it's like, oh, that whole line, you know, everyone here, cops and firefighters. Cool, I'm Hawkeye, like, let's have a conversation. <laughs> and people recognize him. I get that not everyone does, but the dude recognizes him. Just like, no, but will you let me kill you? Actually, can I call my friends so we can get in a circle and I can pretend? I'd be like, dude, I know for a fact you stole this from a crime scene, give me that suit back. I know why they didn't do that, because they wanted to do the joke. But I just don't think the joke was worth wasting all that time. And so once again, I'm like, okay, now we get to the end, and I think the internet has told me that that woman's name is Echo. I could be wrong, but I'm gonna keep calling her that until proven otherwise. And so I'm like, okay, she looks cool. Now again, I'm waiting for the next episode to give me something where I can like, hell yeah, the plot is actually unfolding and not just a bunch of characters in scenes. Because right now, that's what it feels like to me. Just characters in scenes, establishing some personality traits and stuff like that, but not anything that's like, ooh, I need a, you know, Wednesday at 3 a.m. when this airs on Eastern Standard Time, I need to be there and present. Like, not yet. It hasn't given me that yet, and I, I hope I hope that it gets there because I think they're I don't know. I really think this episode, this show's so far biggest flaw is a I just I keep waiting for the plot to get started, but b it is not as funny as it thinks it is, and if that continues for the whole season, then I think we have a problem. Cause I don't know if I can do what six eight episodes of extended LARPing scenes that aren't funny or interesting or sincere or any of those things that would like make it enjoyable <laughs> and just a joke that thinks it's a joke. But um, shh. All right, it was a little bit more negative, but um, didn't want it to be, but it, this episode wasn't super impressive to me. I'm once again holding out hope for the next episode that it, that's gonna be when the pickup that I'm looking for happens. And uh, until then, I will hope. I mean, the third episode's already out. I just haven't watched it yet. hey -o. All right, so that was episode two of Hawkeye. I hope you enjoyed this video a little bit more than I enjoyed that episode. If you did, please like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. If you don't want to do any of that, but you've watched all the way to the end of this video, thank you. I still really appreciate you. You can follow me on Twitter at Leah Sees Movies, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace. I don't know why I said Twitter like that.
Twitter. <laughs> Whatever.